Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ola Tade Kwambi. If this is your first time stopping by on my channel, welcome to my channel. Press the subscribe button again. You're not going anywhere. Anyways, guys, so guys, today's video is actually gonna be about masters in Canada, graduates in Canada, I'll be undergraduate studies in Canada and all like that. That's what today's program is gonna be. Um that's what today's topic is gonna be about. On my YouTube channel, a lot of people have been asking me, do you guys write, do you write TOEFL, do you guys write that English exam, the IELTS um, exam, do you write that, do you can, in my school, you don't have to write the English exam, you don't have to write the IELTS exam, you don't have to write TOEFL or something to get into, to get admission in my own school. So basically, I'm going to be speaking for my own school, okay? Um, so basically, I school at Vancouver Island University, you guys know that, um, so for undergraduate, they didn't ask us to like write a particular exam for English because they were like, oh, when you're coming to school, like your undergrad, no, your high school, they expect you to have a good grade with your English in grade 12, which is like SS3 in Nigeria. And your grades just have to be good for English and all like that to be able to like know that, oh yeah, you are capable to take an English course in their school. So basically for the master student, when I ask a lot of master students, I was meant to bring a master student on my channel. I think I'm going to bring one soon. Um, she told me, oh, they didn't write any of that. And when I checked on Google, they didn't write, my school does not require you to write like a special English exam. The only thing I know that they do is like, since it's MBA, like it depends on the MBA. Yeah. I'm talking about MBA. Most people come, most people come from Nigeria to come and do MBA in my school. And the most people that have done MBA in my school, what I've noticed like some people do pre-MBA. Pre-MBA is just basically like, if you don't have a background in business and all like that, they get to like put you in a pre-MBA class where you do like for six months or something. You do it then you'll be able to have like you know pre rest cosine for the courses you're gonna take in your mba classes so i think that's like basically it about that so we they don't write the um TOEFL exam they don't write the ielt exam for the um, for the admissions to to get into admissions in in my school vancouver Island university and also in canada i lost my school is actually one of the cheapest school in canada as i had like the master is actually very cheap they said the master is like forty thousand dollars like forty canadian dollars um for the mass and the good part is that you get to pay it three times you do you're not gonna be paying it at once you're gonna pay three good times guys and for the undergraduates i'm going when i calculate everything i spent in my undergraduate undergraduate for four years i figure like i spent like um if i spend sixteen thousand every year for only school times four that's like sixty four dollars sixty four thousand dollars so that's what i spent for four years guys and um well, you're not gonna feel the money you're paying it every year, but it, it's a lot of money. So basically, if you're planning to come to Canada, I think there's a way you can always, you know, Google is gonna be your best friend again. Check for my school online, apply for it. You can actually apply or you can use the agent. I put, um, I'm gonna put the link of the agent I use back. I'm gonna tell you guys the agent. I'm gonna show you guys their Instagram page. It's Zavis Food Educational Services. I've said that before. Um, they're the one that helped me with my undergraduate admission and all like that. And I feel they actually help with masters as well. You can actually make your inquiries. There are actually a lot of agents out, agency out there that can help. But you just have to make sure they're a legit agency. When I spoke to some of my friends that are in masters, they said some of them said they did it themselves. So basically, they got the admission themselves. They spoke to the school themselves. And the good part about the school is that my school is like, if you call them directly from Nigeria, they're going to pick up your call. They will answer your questions. So they don't have anything or they're not holding anything back or something like that. They're, they're planning to sell their Market. so i feel other school actually ask for all those tests or other school ask for all those english tests and all like that but i'm talking personally for my own school they don't ask for it and they actually other schools like that as well i think i'm gonna bring someone that did masters in my school i'm gonna bring them here so they'll be able to tell you like break down what they did in school and all like that I me mean, i did undergraduate so um the process was actually like four years all the programs and all like that and after i get a certificate and all yeah so that's basically it guys I hope I'm able to answer a lot of people's questions. Another question I saw was the agent. Some people asked if um so people keep asking me like how long did it take for me to get my visa? Some people ask how long it took for me to get my visa. I think I got my visa with like within two months. Like, Another question they asked was um okay, which school province I know. I stay in British Columbia, um in Canada guys, British Columbia and it's in Vancouver Island. Like that's where I stay. It's called Nanaimo, that's the island I stay. It's Nanaimo, they call it. We, have, we actually have a lot of places um, in the island as well. Victoria is not far from me. Victoria is the capital of BC. So basically, like, it's... That's where it is, guys. So I think that's, like, basically everything I want to say on this video. Um, if you... um, Do you have any tips on how to pass IELTS test? I've not done the test before, guys. So I don't have any tips on how to, like, you know, pass the test or no. Like, I don't have any tips on how to pass the test. So, guys, if it's your first time stopping by on my channel, please press the subscribe button. Um, I hope you guys like the video. And I'm going to catch you guys in my next video. Bye!